what's up beautiful people this is your girl blue nola back in the building with another reading i hope all is well today we're going to do a reading on jocelyn hernandez um she was involved in a huge fight right violent fight um this had to be a couple of weeks ago right i mean it was just complete chaos today we got a chance to see the actual footage from the police right as they arrested her just as out of control and people are literally concerned for her like mental health like what's going on here she had just announced that she had stopped drinking she was just on stage being emotional and then there's all this bottle of anger so people are like where's this coming from now we know she says she stopped drinking but is there something else happening right um the what's going on now the young lady the lady not young lady because she's in her like obviously in her 30s the lady that had the fight with her, they have been kind of at each other for a minute. I remember seeing a video on social media where she basically challenged Jocelyn. She challenged, she said she had somebody for, for, for ballistic. She had somebody for the security. So homegirl was talking that cash money shit, right? All right, on the internet. Now, again, I don't know the true history behind them, but all I know is this thing went down. So on Instagram, we did a live stream. And they provided some questions, some really good questions, as a matter of fact. Today, what I'm using is spell breaker powder, right? Um, and this is just some positive, trying to infuse some positive energy into whatever Jocelyn Hernandez is fighting, whatever battle, whatever demon she's fighting. Girl, break out of it. Because to me, you're at a point in an age in your life where you should be doing better. It's nothing wrong with getting upset. It's nothing wrong with being emotional. But there's definitely something wrong with getting out of control to the point where I was, you know, I mean, it, it was an old video of the police, right? They just released it. But I was like, damn, you know, like, if this would have been another situation. She could have been on the street. She could have been easily, like, hurt, killed, shot, right? It, stuff could, stuff happens. So, let's jump into this reading. But before we do, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, this is your girl, Blue Nola Tarot. You can also book your appointment with me at BlueNolaTarot.com. This is for my Instagram fam. They gave me all of these amazing questions regarding Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess. Um, the first thing people wanted to know is like, will Zeus eventually get rid of her? I don't believe that they will, but we'll ask that question um, because at some point people feel like Zeus is enabling and also her boyfriend is enabling her, right? So, this is by way of TMZ again. Jocelyn Hernandez shoves cops, shouts slurs during arrest after Big Lex brawl. Okay? So, they're just basically saying she hadn't cooled down. Things escalated. They showed a video of her going crazy on the police officers, ultimately taken in under arrest. Ballistics seem to have no real control over her. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Again, Spirit, this reading is for Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess right we're going to just let these cards fall and just see what they say and not actually ask a question initially and just kind of let this play out a little bit okay so let me say this she has the sun card for her first message the fool card for her second message the nine of cups for her third message and then she has the um, the Nine of Cups, sorry. And then she has the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords for her third message. Um, when I see this, especially as a, um, and again, let me just start by, we're going to do a quick health check first. And then we're going to segue into some other stuff. I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose anything at all. But I will tell you, you know, when you first look at this sun card for Jocelyn and Andes, this talks about she let her ego get the best of her right obviously this is an ego energy this is a energy around negativity she let the negativity bring her down this is ego this is negativity this is somebody who got extremely unrealistic in her in her stance fool card reckless right reckless uh made a stupid mistake got distracted in her mission this is what this talks about um in her nine of cups, I feel like in the next one to nine months, in a give or take, I feel like I don't see any action towards her right now legally. 
but that can change, right? That Knight of Swords is her consequences coming towards her, right? She had a disregard for the consequences. She was unpredictable. And has she and, and what these two have in common, believe it or not, the fool card and the knight of swords, they both represent the fool in reverse, right? So acting the fool, behaving as a fool, taking uh, you know, uh, again, making a stupid decision. The fool card in um in health, and again, I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, this could represent again a person who can be, I always say this, this is the first thing I say, someone who can be have an unbalance in health, right? somebody who can still be fighting those demons if you will as it relates to um substance abuse if you will allegedly not set in stone this is just for entertainment purposes only but this is what this could represent so as as much as she got on stage and said she stopped drinking what what else is happening here right what else is happening here but this also represents a person who can be and again this is somebody who has an unbalanced behavior mentally right i don't know if she's ever been diagnosed in any way but this is somebody who can also be someone who needs to be diagnosed and someone that needs to maybe have some treatment uh for her her issues right this can be somebody who can just go crazy right the the the, the, the fool card is a person who can just go insane just go crazy and be careless about what they're doing careless about what they're doing Again, in the next one to nine months, I see her out and about, moving around, being free, doing her thing. But this could all change. That Knight of Swords energy is a person who, again, lack or disregard for the consequences, right? Acted a damn fool, chaotic behavior. And that can cost her in the end. So, I, you know, I, it's amazing how I see people, they get arrested, they go on house arrest, they get in all this trouble, and then they be moving around, acting like nothing happened. Baby, I'll be praying to the Lord, I'll be going to Jesus, to church every day. Like, like, baby, I would be over there meditating, baby, about a month, okay? But these people just seem to just keep moving and keep moving. And this even could indicate another, as a matter of fact, just, just picking up the energy, this could even indicate another situation that could possibly happen. That's not as big, but where she gets into it with someone else. Okay, so she definitely needs to be careful, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's just it's you got a child now. You got to be thinking about your child and the situation around your child. So that's it. Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose, but I will, you know, I will, um, I will say that um, this is what it is. Um, when you see that fool card, and again, that knight of swords, that's a person who has an anger management problem, obviously, right? That's the obvious. Uh, spirit, will she go to anger management? Will they, you know, put her in any type of program to manage her behavior, her energy? Uh, you know, will she go in any, to any type of program? And the five of cups is here, right? In her messages, along with the knight of wands, I can see her possibly in uh, the night of swords is here i could see them possibly trying to have a conversation with her around getting some sort of help it looks better when you do um because again with that five of cups that five of cups can represent a person who they'll start to lose she this represents jocelyn has the potential to lose a lot right based on her behavior listen um i know she's got great opportunities with zeus but what about what I, what about outside of zeus this is somebody who can lose a lot and that loss could be affecting her personally and professionally right and then she'll be regretting what's uh what's uh what's here i could see her maybe going into some type of like quick fast program or going through a process where they say she has to go so many times that knight of wants is somebody going through some type of process right some action being taken towards jocelyn where they say okay you know you know you have to do some work internally and externally right and again on a king of swords is here and i just again represent the fact that I also too she got too many people around her her messages and this is obviously but it's still it's not just ballistic but she got too many yes men around her right too many yes men around her where she can manipulate a situation and convince people that she's in the right when she's you know regardless of who's right or wrong you're you're going to lead yourself into trouble right even if she felt Big Lex was disrespecting her and Big Lex was coming at her or whatever the case may be, at the same time, was it really worth it, right? Was it really worth it? But Jocelyn, again, too many yes men, too many yes women around her. 
And I'm going to say this. A lot of people be saying, you know, well, why Jocelyn got a problem with this person? And why Jocelyn? And let me say this for the record. I love Jocelyn. I want the best for Jocelyn. I hope that Jocelyn can one day just really get it together. I was rooting for Jocelyn when she had that whole breakdown with Stevie G. I was rooting for Jocelyn when he was not trying to take ownership of her baby. I was just like, I've always rooted for Jocelyn. And it is disappointing to see her get into all of this. But she got too many yes men people. She's able to convince people up that she's in the right. Right? She's able, you know, people not, you know, saying, Jocelyn, calm down. It's not worth it. You know, I saw in that video with Big Lex where they had two other men hitting Big Lex too. Right? They were hitting Big Lex too. So not only was Jocelyn fighting her, Big Lex was being hit by two other people that were obviously a part of Jocelyn's entourage. And Jocelyn's boyfriend, Ballistic, he was kind of holding on to her, sometime holding on to her. He had no, he wasn't really doing his part to, to separate that situation as big as he is and as strong as it is. Because at the end of the day, what? I don't want to go home and deal with the wrath of Jocelyn either, right? Again, this person can now, Ballistic could get on the bad side of it and be treated cruelly or, you know, or, 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 or get into some, a moment of grief with her or uh, disturbance energy. I don't feel like they just be sitting there chilling kumbaya all the time either, right? I feel like the, the, she can go there with him. So all I can say is in this in this message is here is very shocking. It's very scary. It's very sad that, you know, this happened. The next question is, you know, what is really going on with Ballistic? That's it. And again, he has enabler energy, but that enabler energy is met with, I don't want to piss her off any further. She's kind of like a firecracker in my hand right what's happening with ballistic does he really try his very best spirit to calm her down or is he a part of the real problem ballistic beats jocelyn's boyfriend jocelyn hernandez boyfriend. is he really doing his part to separate that situation is he behind the scenes really trying to convince her out of it or is he a part of the problem is he really doing his best and he has the king of the knight of swords along with the ten of wands along with the moon card along with the hero font he has some pretty positive cards guys uh as far as jocelyn is concerned but he does have it is a burden right it is a burden so i'm not gonna sit here and say right i'm not gonna sit here and say he never tries to reel her in i think he most certainly does but he is a big time enabler in his Ten of Wands, that's somebody who's tried to be responsible. You know, Ten of Wands is somebody who's tried to be responsible, try to do things in good faith, but it's not enough. It's it's too much temporary energy. It's not enough pulling her back in and reeling her back in. That's what this represents, right? Some action when she gets impulsive, trying to help control, but, but it's like... Again, dealing with it is is like dealing with something as a, a, a grenade, right? I feel like he does feed into the nonsense too. So as much as he may say, you know, he plays that good cop, black cop thing. He does too much of the bad cop versus the good cop. Because in that moon energy, that could represent too. He kind of allows her to bullshit him into it, and he kind of bullshits himself into it, and he kind of, you know, he kind of is. Drinking that Kool-Aid of Jocelyn Hernandez and being led with that, right? Not that he's not strong, but again, sometimes when you get in relationships, people get blinded by what the person is doing and what the person is actually saying in the moment. The Eight of Cups is here. And the Eight of Cups is him being worried for her. So I do see where he is concerned for her. And he is worried about, okay, if this happens or that happens, it's going to lead to this, it's going to lead to that. I can see in the very beginning he may have been trying to manage her a little bit more as they've been their time together. She's gotten stronger over him. This is what I could see in their messages. It's kind of difficult, right? To this represents that's why I, I touched tap this. This means it's kind of difficult to manage her. I feel like he's a big time enabler though, especially with that moon energy. It's easy for her to kind of talk him in and convince him out. And make him see things differently. And again, some people have rose-colored glasses on for the people that they love and care about. He's a good man to her. That Knight of Pentacles, that, that Knight of Pentacles energy, that means he stands with Jocelyn. 
that means he cares about her he loves her like he wants the best for her but he needs to do better than what he's doing because she shouldn't be allowed to manipulate you with her feminine uh <laughs> you know manipulation and and convince you that what she's doing is right when you know it's wrong and but it is in his messages it is difficult right it is difficult right so that's what i see in the messages here oh that's so that's i mean when i tell you she went wild for a minute she went wild for a minute we're gonna move this really quickly and i don't want to make this reading too long but i did i did talk about you know the fact that uh, you know that i was gonna do this reading tonight give me the energy around why what's going on with the damn anger what is all this about everything comes from the way we were raised how we were raised the environment we were in we can do that and say okay what's really the issue but that's really the core of everything that we we kind of go through the exposure to the lifestyle that we live the struggle that we went through jocelyn has had a pretty hard path so we can all surmise that you know just in general that her her, her pathway growing up uh, or or you know the way she was raised has led her to being the person that she is today but give me the energy around her anger you know, I was so proud when she got on there and, and, you know, was, you know, saying how she was, you know, uh, and again, this is a person who had, who's had to struggle, fight, and she passionate about what she's saying, but when you see her, uh, her, her messages here, this is a person who's felt like people be trying to play with you and be behind your back and they won't play the victim. They want to throw the rock and they want to hide their hand. They want to say stuff and keep poking the bear and then they want to run and they want to act like they're innocent. You know, like, you got, like, and that's another thing. Not that she's right, but I do get it, right? They have a lot of narcissistic people out in this world and, and, and she could be a narcissistic person too. But let me just put it in perspective. Just imagine for a second, you got people out there poking the bear, right? Then when things happen and people react, now they're the bad guy and you look like the innocent person. At the end of the day, that four or five of swords is saying that this is somebody who she felt was being sneaky. This is somebody who felt was trying to challenge her. This is somebody who felt that she was, you know, she was bringing tension to her, right? That's what it feels like. At the end of the day, if you keep poking that bear, one day that bear may walk, wake up and bite your damn head off. And this is exactly what happened. This is Big Lex on the ground, right? You know, dealing with the grief of the consequences of the action. So, I again, I saw Big Lex maybe um, before this online challenging Jocelyn. Her and Jocelyn had some problems about what was said. And to me, this has been a brewing, okay? Jocelyn was actually doing pretty good if you look at her messages and her food card. And that's in the positive. And then I just saw she was actually doing pretty good. But keep in mind, she feels like she's been getting poked the whole entire time, right? In that Empress energy, that Empress energy means now, what? Now I'm, now I'm about to blow up. Now I'm, now I'm about to get you. So I think people need to be careful with trying to poke the bear. And then when you poke the bear, then things blow up. Then you want to play the victim and, and, and all this stuff. But this is what it is. Again, this message here is this. I ain't no weak B-I-T-C-H and I'm going to deal with you the minute I see you. So I just feel like she just released on this girl. This is what it looks like to me. But I feel like it's been something, again, that I said it's been brewing for a minute. It's been brewing for a minute. Um, will this affect her time with Zeus? Like, will Zeus get to the point to, to get, you know, eventually get some pressure on that? They are known for fighting, child. I don't believe it. They just promoted her music today, even outside of the fight, even outside of the police thing. Uh, they're capitalizing on this. So, will Zeus do anything with Jocelyn at this moment? Give me the energy around Zeus. Hell no. That What's his name? Lumiel? Lumiel? Child, you going to sit there and, 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 and parlay that into the whole, <laughs> into the show. You know, what happened, how it happened, the breakdown of how it happened. He's going to use it to his benefit. No. All right. That's what that talks about. You will see this play out. Let me pull some more. You will see this play out and what happened. Again, you'll see like how it all played out. But he's going to use this for the show. 
in the next and it, even if it's in and he may use some of it for this uh one that's coming out you may see some a tail end of it but he definitely is going to use it for his show in his knight of wands energy this talks about what really happened in his knight of wands energy this talks about the the conflict between them it's going to talk about the conflict between them that's been brewing for a while uh, even that uh, message here, this is people being messy, going back and forth. That Ace of Cups is bad intentions, false heart, people uh, having a love-hate relationship with each other. This is Jocelyn and that girl. Even this is, again, this is talking about tension release, child. So again, I don't feel like this happened in the vacuum. I feel like it's been brewing. I think people have been saying stuff. People have been behind the scenes pushing it. But this particular girl got online and was saying direct stuff to Jocelyn, how she's going to be her ass, be the boyfriend ass, be the security ass. She's going to get everybody ass. That's what she's saying. Okay? Pure point blank. And I know they had probably had problems before then, but I saw her directly doing that. Um, will Zeus and Jocelyn eventually part ways, spirit? And what does that look like? Well, what time frame will that be? It doesn't look like right now. Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups, Temperance. I think they're going to do business together for quite a while. It shows it could be one to two years where they end up ending their, their several of their ties. Again, it's not set in stone. The death card is here with two years, okay? So it could be one to two years where they sever their ties. And that can, you know, that just can mean people just outgrown each other. They're moving in different directions. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's turn the page. Again, I don't want to make this too long. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> turn it again. Give me the energy around Jocelyn. Will she eventually go back to love and hip hop? Jocelyn Hernandez. Will she work it out with Mona Scott Young one day and go back to love and hip hop? Mm, that feels. I must say this. When you see the hangman in reverse, that to me represents. I feel like the person was sabotaging me. I felt like this person was behind my back. I felt like this person had some real motives. I would be surprised, and I'm is again not set in stone, but I wouldn't be surprised if Jocelyn does not go that route simply because she felt she was really burned by these people. Confirm spirit, Jocelyn going back to uh, love and hip hop, the franchise. Give me the energy around Jocelyn Hernandez. The, and she has the four swords. No, I'm good on them. And that double card, right? And that four cups. That four cups is staying disconnected. Now, again, it's not set in stone. I'm reading these for right now. But this represents, they, they, they did too much, right? They try to sabotage me. They try to sacrifice me. They try to play me. They try to set me, you know, set me down, right? Um, et cetera, et cetera, right? And it did cause a big rift. And this is staying disconnected. So I don't see that happening. Ultimately, the elephant in Rome. Will Jocelyn Hernandez face any real legal action for this? Uh, legal action could be they come to some agreement. Legal action could be she gets some restrictions imposed upon her. I can't see how she could go scot-free with a slap on the wrist at, with all that on camera. Right? That's pretty significant. Even if this girl, Big Lex, decided to not press charges, like the state could still pick it up and go forward any energy around Jocelyn will she get any type of real you know the question was will she like serve time for this or will she get any legal real legal trouble for this Jocelyn Hernandez I mean that was pretty damn significant will she get any type of time or will it, anything significant come her way Jocelyn she's got the queen of pentacles she's got a good lawyer the seven of pentacles she's got a good lawyer y'all They may be able to work something out, but she does have a restrictions imposed a restriction imposed upon her for her behavior. She's gonna have the best lawyer. Um, I feel like they're gonna try to come up with the best plan for her. Um, they may even like try to you know get some things adjusted or reduce or however they do it. But she does for her behavior. She does have a restrictive energy coming her way. All right. 
because because of her brutality and her cruelty. This is a this could be considered an, a restrictive card. There's some swords attached, a sword attached to that. The judgment card is here. This talks about being she receiving some sort of judgment. Confirm the energy around it. She does have a good lawyer. I feel like they're gonna try to work out a solid plan for her, but I feel like she's gonna get some type of restriction imposed upon her. Star card, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So she's not gonna just you know get a scot free. I can't see it. That page of um that page of swords again. This is somebody who's gonna have to be under some type of restriction, paperwork, check in. There's something that's happening here, guys. And even in that King of Wands, that King of Wands can represent a person who, you know, because of their behavior, they can go through a process. So I don't see her getting away scot-free with it. I feel like there's some type of, there could be something imposed upon her uh, in the form of some type of restriction. You know, I can see where they could try to work it out. You know, sometimes they try to reduce the charges to do, to do, to do stuff like that. But I can see her having something imposed on her. Ooh, I'm surprised she's not on like house arrest, you know, um, chilling. But you know, when black women, you know, when it comes to black women jail, you know, hey, we we're the least respected and the least protected. So at the end of the day, you know, hey, get your ass kicked, get your ass kicked. Yeah, because in her messages, she does have a restrictive, a restriction card. But her restriction card is met with, like, maybe some accommodations. All right? So, I see a restriction aspect with accommodations. This is the end of the road for me. This is your girl, Blue Nola. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. This is on Jocelyn Hernandez. Take care. And um, I hope she can get it together. And I wish her the best of luck. She is a daughter. You know, will her daughter be affected by all of this? Mm, we'll see it right now. I feel she's okay with her daughter right now. And the reason why I'm asking that question, there is a separation aspect here. The reason why I'm asking that, ask, asking that, because, you know, like if she gets into something where they restrict her in some way, that means there's a separation aspect here. Also, to her baby father, you know, like, man, they come, he can use that against her. That's what that talks about here, right? That's what it talks about. So. I just wanted to ask that question. I don't like doing too much on children. All right, y'all have a great day. Take care. Stay blessed. Encouraging and power. Peace and blessings. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you care. Don't forget to book with me at bluenillotarot.com. Bluenillotarot.com. Bye.